The Battle of Tarvis from 16 to 17 May 1809, the storming of the Malbourg Ghetto Blockhouse from 15 to 17 May 1809, and the storming of the Predel Blockhouse from 15 to 18 May saw the Franco-Italian army of Eugene de Buhamis attacking Austrian Empire forces. Under Albert Gaillet, Eugene crushed Gaillet's division in a pitched battle near Tarvisio, then an Austrian town known as Tarvis, at nearby Malborghetto Valbrunner and Predel Pass. Small garrisons of Gren's infantry heroically defended two forts before being overwhelmed by sheer numbers. The Franco-Italian capture of the key mountain passes allowed their forces to invade Austrian Canton during the War of the Fifth Coalition. Tarvisio is located in far northeast Italy, near the borders of both Austria and Slovenia. Eugene's main column marched up the Fela River Valley, which runs east and west in the area of the fighting. On 15 May the column found itself blocked by the Malbor Ghetto Fort. Attacking in greatly superior force, Eugene's troops captured the fort on the morning of the 17th. Later that day, the Franco-Italians routed Gaillet's division from its positions near Tarvisio, inflicting heavy losses. A second Franco-Italian column, attempting to join Eugene from the south was halted on the 15th by the Predel Fort. On 18 May, Predel fell to assault and the defenders were killed to the last man. Monuments at both forts honor the Austrians who gave their lives in the fighting. Background Early battles The Austrian war plan at the start of the War of the Fifth Coalition called for the Army of Inner Austria under General der Cavalry, Archduke John of Austria to invade and seize the province of Venetia in northeast Italy. For this formidable task, John's forces were not especially large. The Eight Army Corps numbered 24,500 infantry, 2,600 cavalry, and 62 guns. The IX Army Corps counted 22,200 infantry, 2,000 cavalry, and 86 guns. General Major Andreas von Stoikowicz was poised to advance south into French-occupied Dalmatia with 10,000 more. Assembling in Carinthia were 23,500 second-line soldiers in 33 Landwehr battalions, with 6,600 more Landwehr troops in reserve. To support the Tyrolean rebellion, John reorganized his army and sent Feldmarshal Lieutenant Johann Gabriel Chasler de Corcelles west with 10,000 troops from eight army corps. The detachment left John with about 40,000 soldiers for his invasion of Italy out of 85,000 available. The departure of Chasler left Feldmarshal Lieutenant Albert Gaillet in command of eight army corps and his brother Feldmarshal Lieutenant Ignaz. Gaillet in charge of IX Army Corps. Eugene commanded 70,000 Franco-Italian troops in his Army of Italy. Of his six French and three Italian infantry divisions, only two defended the Socca River near the eastern frontier, while the rest were scattered across the Kingdom of Italy. On 16 April 1809, an overconfident Eugene gave battle with only one cavalry and five infantry divisions, about 35,000 infantry and 2,000 cavalry. At the Battle of Sassile, John's invading army mauled Eugene's army, inflicting 6,500 casualties for a loss of only 3,600. The defeated army of Italy fell back to Verona on the Adige River gathering reinforcements until it had accumulated 60,000 soldiers. After John detached forces to besiege the Osopo and Palmanova fortresses and to watch the large French garrison of Venice, the Austrian army arrived before Verona with only 30,000 troops on 28 April. After hearing of the main Austrian army's defeat of the Battle of Ekmul on of April, Emperor Francis I of Austria ordered his brother Archduke John to retreat to Inner Austria. After fencing with the Viceroy near Sovan Monte Bastia at the Battle of Caldero at the end of April, the Archduke withdrew on 2 May. The retreat was ably covered by Feldmarshal Lieutenant Johann Maria Philipp Frimont's rear guard. 
On 8 May, John defended a strong position behind the Piave River. In the Battle of Piave River, Eugene defeated his opponent, inflicting 5,000 casualties while suffering about 2,000 killed and wounded. On the 11th of May, the Franco-Italian advance guard turned both flanks of Fremont's 4,000-man rear guard at San Daniele del Friuli. The Austrians were crushed with losses of about 2,000, while French casualties numbered between 200 and 800. After a clash at Venzone, Fremont retreated north up the Fella River Valley, burning the bridges behind him. Preliminaries Archduke John took about 19,000 troops back to Tarvis. He sent Ignaz Gale and 5,000 soldiers to Carniola which was only guarded by two brigades under Feldmarschall Lieutenant Anton von Zaken, General Major Johann Kalnassi. In his capacity as Ban of Croatia, Ignaz Gale had the authority to muster the Croatian insurrection or militia, seriously weakened by his abortive invasion of Italy. John recalled Chasler from the Tyrol in the hope of massing enough troops to challenge Eugene. Eugene planned to pierce the barrier of the Carnic Alps by advancing in multiple columns. To the west, he directed General of Division Jean-Baptiste Dominique Ruska and his division to march up the valley of the Pialve, then turn east. He ordered General of Division Jacques MacDonald with one cavalry and two infantry divisions, 14,000 troops to march due east and seize the Austrian base at Ljubljana in Carniola. From there, MacDonald might link up with General of Division August Marmont advancing north from Dalmatia, or he could capture Graz or Maribor. Eugene sent one division under General of Division jean Mathieu Serres moving north up the Soca toward Tarvis via the Predel Pass. He took the bulk of his army north from Osopo along the Fela Valley, aiming for the Austrian bases at Tarvis and Village. This 25,000-strong force included the Corps of Generals of Division Paul Greenier and Louis Baraghi de Liers, the Italian Royal Guard, and two cavalry divisions. As his brigade retreated up the upper Piave Valley, General Major Joseph Schmidt thoroughly obstructed the road in front of Ruska. Unable to move his wagons and artillery in that direction, Ruska backtracked and followed in Eugene's path. The main column also faced a route littered with broken bridges. Eugene finally sent his artillery, cavalry, and trains back and directed them to follow in Serra's track. He continued to advance to Ponteba with his infantry and some light guns. Personalities Battle See Battle of Piave River for the Franco-Italian order of battle. Action when ascending the Fella, the river valley veers east at Ponteba and continues 10 km east to Malbor Ghetto. From the latter town, Tarvisio is 10 km farther to the east. To reach Tarvisio from the Soccer Valley, a road leaves Bovec and continues about 10 km north-northeast before turning west to cross the Predel Pass. At the foot of the pass is Largo del Predel. From there, the road continues north again for about 10 km before arriving at Tarvisio. The Predel blockhouse dominates the road about 800 meters east of the pass. The Malbor Ghetto blockhouse lies about 900 meters east of Malbor Ghetto village. The fort is on a mountain spur that looms over the Fella Valley. In mid-May Archduke John reorganized his army into several groups. Stoikowicz with 8,100 mostly Grenz infantry and 14 guns was still distant in Dalmatia. Jelasic lay well to the north at Radstadt. Ignaz Gale and Zak assembled the IX Army Corps at Kran with 14,880 men organized into four brigades. John held village with his mobile corps, 13,060 soldiers and 22 guns under Fremont. Albert Gaule was at Tarvis with his 8,340-strong division organized into three brigades. General Major Anton Gajoli led 2,800 men of the Franz Gelasic Infantry Regiment near 62, Rieski Infantry Regiment near 13, and a brigade battery of eight three-pound cannons. General Major Franz Marziani commanded 2,800 soldiers in the Ogolina Grenz Infantry Regiment near 
3. Shaluanagren's Infantry Regiment near 4. 4 Squadrons of the Othusar Regiment near 5. And Agren's Brigade Battery of 8 3-pound guns. General Major Peter Lutz had 2,500 men in the Marburg, Sili, Layback, and Adelsberg Landwehr. The artillery reserve included one position battery of six 12-pound guns. Two other historians assigned weaker forces to Albert Gale's division. According to historian Robert M. Epstein, he deployed about 6,000 troops in the vicinity of Tarvis with 650 grens and 10 guns holding the Malbor Ghetto blockhouse, and 250 grens and 8 guns defending the Predal blockhouse. Author Digby Smith listed 3,500 Austrians and 6 guns at Tarvis, 450 men and 11 guns at Malbor Ghetto, and 250 men and 8 guns at Predel. Grenier's corps contained the two divisions of generals of Division Pierre-Francois-Joseph Durut and Michel Marie Pacted. Baragi Delia's corps included the two divisions of General of Division Achille Fontanelli and General of Brigade Joseph Marie, Count Dessex. Dessex's advanced guard division comprised three battalions formed from the Voltiga companies of the infantry, plus a few battalions borrowed from the other divisions. These troops arrived before the Malbor ghetto fort on 15 May. Eugene ordered Greenier to reduce the fort while Baragi de Lears kept Gale from interfering with the operation from Tarvis. Accordingly, Dessex and Fontanelli led their troops across mountain trails to reach the Fela Valley on the east side of the Malbor ghetto fort. Greenier sent Pacted's troops scrambling after the other two divisions to reach an assault position from the east. On the 16th, Baragi de Lears skirmished with Gale, who evacuated Tarvis and took a defensive position east of the town. At 9.30 a.m. on 17 May, Pacted and Durat's divisions rushed the Malbor ghetto fort from two directions, 15,000 strong. Thirty minutes later, the position fell. Epstein wrote that 300 Austrians were killed and 350 captured, and accepted the Franco-Italian report of 80 casualties. A considerable supply of food was captured as well as 13 cannons. Engineer Captain Friedrich Hensel died leading his garrison of two companies of the Ugolina Grenz Infantry Regiment near 3 and 24 artillerymen. Smith reported the 400 Austrian total losses as five officers and 345 men dead, six officers, 44 men, and 11 guns captured. He found Grenier's claim of only 80 casualties as totally unbelievable, considering the bitter fighting. The Austrian official record stated that the fortifications were too extensive for the garrison. It also gave the garrison's losses as 75 killed and 305 captured including 120 wounded. The account admitted that an Austrian claim of 1,300 casualties inflicted on the attackers was improbable. Grenier's victorious soldiers were rapidly marched east to Tarvis to assist in the attack against Gale. The Austrian commander took up a position behind the Slezer stream with 11 battalions and four squadrons. In line were Gajoli's brigade, Marziana's brigade, three battalions of the Strasoldo Infantry Regiment near 27, and two battalions of the Marburg Landwehr. A line of prepared defences lined the stream bank, but only 10 of the planned 24 cannons were installed in the redoubts. At midday Eugene waved his troops forward. While Grenier's corps skirmished with Gale's centre, Fontaine Ali's Italian division hit the Austrian left flank. The Italians seized a key redoubt and began rolling up Gale's defences from the south. As the Austrian line began to crumble, Grenier's troops attacked in front. Gale's troops fled the field in rout, losing 3,000 killed, wounded, and prisoners, and most of their guns. Lacking cavalry, the Franco-Italians were not able to pursue. The Austrians admitted losing 217 killed, 271 wounded, and 1,301 captured, for a total of 1,789 men and six guns loss out of 3,500 engaged. 
Eugene admitted 80 killed and 300 wounded out of 10,000 engaged, though the latter figure does not count Grenier's troops which are listed as reserves. Meanwhile, the column under Serres encountered opposition on the 15th when it reached the Predal Pass blockhouse. While Eugene crushed Gaillet's command on 17 May, Serres bombarded the Predal fort without effect. Engineer Captain Johann Hermann von Hermannsdorf commanded the garrison of two companies of the 1st Battalion of the Schleunigrenz Infantry Regiment, near 3, in order to bring his artillery, cavalry, and wagon trains to Tarvis, Eugene needed to use Predal Pass. He sent three battalions south to attack Hermann's bastion from the pass while Serres drove in from the other side. The French assault began on 18 May and met with tremendous resistance. Hermann and every single one of the 250 Croat defenders were killed in their last stand. Out of 8,500 infantry and 12 guns, Franco-Italian losses were about 450 killed and wounded. Sites result. The Austrian strategy of invading Italy was a blunder. The losses incurred in the invasion and retreat seriously weakened Archduke John's army. Instead of having ample forces to defend the mountain barrier east of the Italian plains, John was left with an insufficient number of soldiers. The capture of Tarvis and its outlying forts gave Eugene an open road to Village, which he occupied on 20 May. His troops seized Klagen Fort the following day. In both cities, the Franco-Italians found supplies that would be of future use. Eugene was forced to pause for a few days in order to let his artillery, cavalry, and wagon trains catch up with his infantry. John withdrew to Graz, where he arrived on 24 May, followed by Gaillet's bedraggled division. Eugene's patrols soon detected Jalashik's division marching across his front and sent Grenier's corps to intercept. The next action was the Battle of St. Michael on 25 May. Monuments to engineer officers Hensel and Hermann and the fallen Austrian soldiers are located at both the Malbor Ghetto and Predel forts. The one at Predel was constructed in 1849.